Not Protego. Oh, for f sake, are you serious? I barely made it down the f***ing staircase. And then it's as simple as rolling through this door undetected. Oh, for f sake. Supposed to be a casual trip to the library. Behind the bookcase. Got my ass busted twice before I made it into the Who have we here? Uh oh. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Ah, fuck you, naughty, Peeves. Naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. You I'm ghost. Ah. Get back here, you. Ah. What is going on YouTube Universe? This is Zira bringing you guys another installment of Hogwarts Legacy. Sit back, relax, it is game time. We are picking up the action where we left off previously, which is within the Three Broomsticks, which is a tavern within Hogsmeade. And we are here because the previous episode was all about Hogsmeade. It was about us getting our potions. It was about us getting our spellcrafts getting Dittany seeds to grow for Herbology class, and finally going to Ollivanda to get our first wand, which was an experience in its own right. And the customization levels in this game are incredible. I am loving it. That's Serona, the barkeep. And actually, before we leave, I want to quickly touch on Serona while we go have a look at her again. She is a trans woman. And I just want to thank the game devs for the level of inclusivity they have put within this universe. Whether it's race, sexuality, gender, they have built a world based upon that. And I just want to applaud them, especially for all the hate they have been getting. It is ridiculous. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. You must return to your common room for the night, access the map. Oh, so we can just fast travel back home. That's, that's great. I was wondering whether the mission would include us having to sneak back into Hogwarts, which, hey, I would have been all open for because you guys know... I love getting sneaky deaky, but the inclusion of Flu Flame as the fast travel mechanic in this game, really nice touch. Incredibly well done. And we are back in the Slytherin common room. Which is going to be obsolete in this playthrough eventually, because once we unlock the room of requirement, that is the only place I'm going to be spending my time. So we should probably take the time to appreciate the Slytherin common room in all its glory before that happens, right? Professor Fig! Rebellion. I bet he's heard about the attack at Ogsmeade as well. Well, we've got a chesticle. Black bowler at. I'll take that. I won't wear it. I'll probably sell it. I don't know. The verdict is still out with how I want to build my, you know, visual look for Hunter. Doesn't include a bowler Professor, hat, though, unfortunately. I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. And they're also going to catch these hands. Um, sir, what about the goblins at Gringotts? Speaking of the vault... Do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, 
The goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. That's a fair call, because that goblin got fucked up. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. Kind of looks like the it's Marauder's map a little bit. Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book. But we should be prepared. Oh, Hunter, you underestimate the power of Hogwarts. Magic further, come and see me. Everything in this place is dangerous. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I'd be worried going to take a shit in the bathroom in case the toilet fucking, you know, grew teeth and swallowed me whole. And besides, seeing Professor Hackett again might give us the opportunity to unlock a new spell. And if we can unlock a new spell and throw down, then hey, I'm all nice for it. See you, my young friend. Another chesticle over here. Which is locked. Alohomora is definitely a spell I am looking forward to unlocking. But it looks like we're going to be sneaking into the restricted section of the library. We are going full Harry Potter. And I remember earlier in the game when we first met Sebastian, he mentioned something along the lines of, you know, breaking the rules is going to be, you know, something we'll need to do from time to time. And he included the fact of saying breaking into the restricted section. So maybe he'll give us a hand. Who knows? Hello, Professor. Uh, I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Oh! Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, And setting and bastards on fire. And, necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Of you course. may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know it's never fucking easy with these finished. bastards, is it? They're employed here at Hogwarts to teach us how to use magic, but instead... Seems no, we're going to send you on tasks and then we will teach you how to do a spell. Zira, take out the trash. Zira, fold my underwear. Zira, wash the dishes. You know what? How about no? How about you just do your fucking job and you teach me how to do some fucking magic? A little longer than a few minutes later. <clears throat> Look, I've done it, and I'm not going to lie. That whole section I'm probably going to edit out because oh. uh, I lost a few times in that duel, and I don't want to talk about it. It's best forgotten. What duel? What duel are we talking about? I no fucking Mr. idea Bradley what you're talking about. Able to accommodate you. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate. I think you underestimate my power, Professor. Steady. She d doesn't uh, clearly understand how firm a grip I have on my wand, you know what I'm saying? Give it the good old swish and flick, alright? Incendio, new spell unlocked. Oh, now we've learnt a new, a new spell and we've learnt enough to use the wheel. So how do we go about this then? Oh, which one do we replace? 
I think we replaced Rapero, right? Will that be all, Professor? I'm going to go help myself to that training dummy, actually. Let's give this spell a whirl. Oh! Well, hell. Burn, baby, burn. That's beautifully magical. Do you know what else is magical? Today's spot. Um, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Zira, content creator supported by Manscaped. Of course, you'd know all about Manscaped. Sorry, no. No? Blimey, Harry, don't you wonder where your dad learned to shave it all? Learned what? You have hairy balls, Harry. I have what? Okay, so let me set the picture here. You've had someone slither into the DMs and they want to give you a bit of a Hufflepuff, but you look downstairs and you've got a bit of a Forbidden Forest situation going on. There's no need to fear, though, because Manscaped are here and they've got the Prefect Package for you all. The Platinum Package 4.0, that is. The hero of the Platinum Package 4.0 is the Lawnmower 4.0, with skin-safe technology that ensures when you do the good old swish and flick, you don't get any nicks. Plus, you can cast Lumos with it, and you get yourself a little bit of a light to help you guide your way. You know what I'm saying? As well as this package, including the Lawnmower 4.0, you also get yourself the Weed Whacker, which is a nose hair trimmer to help you uh, get rid of those unsightly hairs. You also get the Crop Preserver and the Ball Deodorant to help you uh, make sure you maintain down there. As well as now, the Hygiene Pack that comes along with it gives you the body wash, the shampoo, the conditioner, even a little bit of lip balm to make sure that while you're taking care of down there, you can keep care of everywhere. Because why wouldn't you want to? If that isn't magical enough, how about, boom, look at that, the Shed Travel Bag that comes as a free gift, as well as their anti-chafe boxes, which I can't show you because I'm wearing them, and that'd be fucking dirty for me to show you. And that's just the tip of the sorting hat. Manscaped have plenty of other items on hand to ensure that you look your wizarding best. And with online ordering and shipping, it is easier to do than Voldemort saying, <laughs> Be sure to use code word ZIRA at checkout for 20% off your order plus free international shipping. That is code ZIRA at checkout for 20% off and free international shipping. And now back to the video. Expelliarmus. Professor, I've learned a new spell. Let's go to the restricted section. You know, it would probably ah, be easier to get in are. there with Professor's help. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Let's go. Fig! I have work for you. Come. Of course. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. You know what? I love Sirius Black, but his ancestor can get fucked. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. You know what then, Professor? If I can't do it with you, then I'm breaking into the bastard without you, okay? Hopefully Sebastian can give us a hand. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? You know what? I've been dodging the bullet with everybody else, but considering Sebastian is a fellow Slytherin, I'm going to trust him enough to tell him. Seems he's working with Ranrock. Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. 
I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you. I sure hope so. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more. Fucking bastard ghost. Peeves can get How fucked as well. How should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Here we go. I think it's night time. We're about to get our sneak See on. There? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold I can be on, very girl. sneaky. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I love spells. Here we go. Two new spells to kick the episode off. Don't mind if I do. Disillusionment. Yay. Uh, let's replace Lumos. I think. Yeah. Not Protego. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me. I barely made it down the fucking staircase. Not making the same mistake twice. Give that a good old activation, it might distract a little bit. And then it's as simple as rolling through this door undetected. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is proving to be harder than it fucking, you know, I, I anticipated it to be. It's supposed to be a fucking casual trip to the library. Got my ass busted twice before I made it into the bastard. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually. But it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But I didn't worry. even know that was a thing. I said I'd get you in. anti Alohomora. Trust me. It's okay, Sebastian. You can trust me. Might have been busted twice, but when I get the sneaky deaky on, I'm, I'm pretty fucking good at it. Distract you a little bit with a spinning fucking globe. The key. There's someone there. Steal your key. Is that you, Peeves? You old bitch. And I'm out of here. 
I just hope to Christ there aren't any prefects hiding downstairs. Because if I get fucking busted again, I think I'm going to lose my shit. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. <laughs> Oh. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend out exploring where they shouldn't be. Fuck you, Peeves. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. You I'm ghost fuck. Sell. Get back here, you bastard. Oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Can I, can I trust you? Don't get it. No, don't get into well, trouble. I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, uh, see what he did that there. Damned poltergeist got to. He's gonna do the good old. Uh, you know, I gave you a hand once, so you owe me a favor. And it looks like we need repairo. I just love how beautiful and seamless it looks using magic in the overworld. They've really done this, you know, universe justice. What have we got here? Of course, traces of ancient magic. Here we go, we're about to make ourselves a little doorway, I think. But I'm going to get this chest first. Silver four eye spectacles. I still don't know whether glasses are a thing for Hunter or not. Enter the Athenium, huh? Oh, hello. Heel striped attire. Revelio. Where might this lead? I'm just loving that there is so much, you know, customization and items to choose from when it comes to this game. Really gives you a good handle on ensuring that the character you're creating is something Akio. that is personable to you. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? That's a long way down. Am I supposed to jump off? How do I get across? Do I... Do I jump... No, I do not jump off. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Discover the secret of the antechamber, huh? Yeah, well, I'll tell you a little bit of a secret game. I've no fucking clue what I'm supposed to be doing, and a bit of a hand would be appreciated. Repairo. Oh, fucking hell.
Giddy, you fuck. Piss off. Oh, fucking hell. It is a book after all. We finally made it. Holy shit. Oh, we got a memory. Let's have a little peek, shall we? got going on here What's going on Well let there be rain They're big grass apparently. It looks like they're uh they're working to help out the town. Which is being ravaged by a drought of some kind by the looks of things. Oh look at that. Well oh, that's a sick little boy like me. I'm a little sick boy today too. Yeah, that little girl saw. And he acknowledged it. Wielding magic for the power of good. Too bad that's something Hunter is not going to be doing. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. Oh, as okay. Happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of We're all like connected. Us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the... The beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what Ah, she was the little girl. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morgana. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. Well, if Hunter gets to learn this magic, I can promise you it is going to be today. used incorrectly. Because my hopes for Hunter is he's going to become the most evil wizard you have ever seen. Well, apart from a uh, noseless Voldemort, but Voldemort hasn't even been born yet, so we have to set the standard, right? Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! Had a feeling he'd get busted. I thought we were through with this mischief. 
Clearly, detentions are insufficient. Is he gonna fucking give me up? I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. You're a good man, Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Fuck off, Peeves. I'm glad we trusted him now. Originally I said I wanted uh, that other Slytherin boy, Ominous, to be my best friend considering he's a descendant of Salazar Slytherin himself, but uh, I think Sebastian's shaping up to be my best friend now, especially if he's going to take the fall for me like that. They say you can't trust a snake, but uh, he's one of the best Slytherin I know. <laughs> he's such a good man. I was just about to end the episode in front of that fountain, but then realised I have to return to Professor Fig, so why not? Let's go talk to old Professor first. Don't think he's going to be too, uh, too thrilled to find out the fact that I've already snuck into the restricted section, but I think finding out the information I've just uncovered is going to uh, save my ass a little bit. I have some news, Professor. Looks like we're going to have to wait till morning. Quest started. Tomes and Tribulations. You cannot be serious. Goblins Here we go. working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah... Fig, you have a visitor. I'll see yes, what Black. Out. Hmm. He does have a visitor, so how about you see yourself so, out the fucking door? I was door. able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. You know what? Fig can wait. He made me wait till morning. I think he can wait till the next episode to have a chat with me. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far. I have been loving it. If you have been enjoying, it would mean a lot to myself if you hit that like button down below. And if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button as well. Join the Kaiju crew, get on board one hell of a community, and let's keep this adventure going together. As I said at the top of the video, if you've missed any episodes, feel free to check out the playlist, which is linked in the description down below. And before you leave, cast Accio on that notification bell so you get that ring-a-ding-ding -ding whenever I upload something brand new. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.